Well, I got through. <laughs> welcome, my dear friends. Welcome back. Welcome to the new folks here on the channel. This is about my eighth try trying to record this message. And I think it's either a YouTube problem or my subscriber, uh, you know, my service. I mean, so anyway, I just laid hands on this laptop and I prayed so that we could get today's words out. It has nothing to do with my neighborhood. I have a schizo. I live in an apartment, a fourplex. I have a schizophrenic across from me, a witch below, and my friend the atheist on the other side, who frequently yells at me because I speak too much Jesus. <laughs> so it has nothing about the oppression roundabout. Oh, and one more thing. The young man below that works midnights, he usually curses every Tuesday at his living girlfriend because that's his day off, and I guess he's tired. <laughs> You know, we got to keep our humor, folks, in these last days. We absolutely have to keep our humor. And besides that, I have a real burden about October. What is going to happen in October? I don't have a piece about October. So that's been my morning. <laughs> anyway, bless you. I have a beautiful word today. Uh, this once faraway soul seeking a higher place. The, the title, uh, Philippians 3, we're going to read out of this once far away soul seeking a higher place. And that's what it's all about in these last days, seeking the Lord, seeking that higher place. You know, we must be up in the spirit with the Lord as much as we possibly can. Amen. These days are only going to get darker. And I just wanted to share you my oppression for the day roundabout, which I deal with each and every day, trying to get these messages out. I wanted to thank you. Um, now get my humor side here. Thank you so much for all your uh, donations here in the comments. I am working on uh, our fundraiser. I spoke the other day. I'm going to get a clear jar. I've already started to put some donations in. I believe we're going to Asheville, North Carolina. I'm trying to reach. I feel led to uh, contact a smaller church. And I can't get through, so I'm going to give it a few more days, and then I'll go. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to adopt a family or whether we're going to have uh, help a church. Uh, I'm going to speak to this pastor and make sure that there's a oneness. I know he's preaching the word. It's a small congregation. I don't want to go to a mega church where often the foolishness happens in the mega church, right? I want uh, people that love Jesus. Uh, that are in trouble that we can help on this program. So I'm working on it. Uh, today is October 1st. You know, I work a few days ahead so I can place these words accordingly. Sometimes these heavy duty words come for days at a time from the Holy Spirit. And oftentimes I have to place in these words that will uplift us, encourage us, uh, you know, because that's what God does. You know, he just... Uh, knows what we need, church, when we need it. Amen. So let's just start with a little prayer today. This once faraway soul seeking a higher place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. You're in control, God. You are in control of everything, Lord. Our surroundings, our workplace, our families, our illnesses, our situations, Lord God, our relationships, Lord God. Oh, you are in control and you are always at work, Lord God. Oh, Lord, I pray that I'd lift each one up today, Lord God, that your people would be encouraged, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, in the midst of all this turmoil and darkness, we can still laugh, we can still smile, we can still feel your joy and your presence, almighty God. Oh, this peace, Lord, how we need your peace, how you meet us with this peace in your presence every day, Lord God. We worship you, Lord God. We worship you, Lord God. We worship in holiness, Lord God. We lift up holy hands and we give you glory and honor. And Lord, it is our desire in our prayer to move to a higher place each and every day while we're still here. Take us to a higher place, almighty God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, almighty God. Oh, sweet spirit. We need this, don't we, church? We need, we need the peace. We need the presence. We need his comfort. We're a needy people. And you know, that's good and that's okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, Philippians 3, we'll start with 8. I'm going to read right through 21, quite a few scriptures. More than that, this is Paul. More than that, I count all things to be lost in view of the suppressing value of knowing Jesus Christ, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them but rubbish in order that I may gain and that he may that uh, and be uh, may be found in him, not having righteousness of my own de uh, derived, but from the law, that which is through faith in Jesus, the righteous was come from God on the basis of faith, and that I may know him in the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his suffering be conformed to his death, in order that I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained it or already become perfect, but I press on in order that I may lay hold of which also I have laid hold of Jesus Christ. Brethren, I do not regard myself as laying, uh, laid hold of yet, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind, forgetting what lies behind and reaching towards what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal of the price of the upward call of God in Jesus Christ. And let us, therefore, as many are perfect, have the attitude which in anything have the difference attitude. God will reveal that also to you. However, let us keep living by that same standard to which we have attained. Brethren, join in following my example and observe those who walk according to the pattern you have in us. For many walk in whom I have often told you and now tell you, even weeping that they are enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their appetite, and whose glory is in their shame, who set their minds on earthly things. For our citizenship is in heaven, for which we also eagerly wait for Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who transforms the body of our humble state into conformity with the body of his glory by the extinction of the power that has uh, he has uh, even to subject all things to himself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence, Lord God. Thank you for your comfort and your peace. Thank you, Lord. Lord, lead me to a higher place. Let me enter the new places. Let me enter your realm as never before. Oh, my love, take me higher and higher. Glory to God and let me know as you have never before. Uh, break me, mold me, make me into your image. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. I know my love, all things possible by your spirit. All things, all things, glory to God. And yet my flesh often holds on, holds back. And oh my love, how often I fall and bended knees once again with a broken and contrite heart. Oh my love, my flesh often so strong, my heart and so willing. And once again, my love, you know me better than myself. And oh, my love, where can I go from your spirit? Make those changes in me, my love. Take me now to that higher place. I desire all of you, my love, all of you. I lay down before you this early more knowing that pain is involved, amen. Every step forward, pain is involved, amen. We're fighting a dark enemy. Amen. So uh, let's see here. I lay myself down before you this early morn, knowing that pain is involved, letting go my love of the flesh uh, that is so weak. And though I am weary, my love, my desire is to reach that higher place. Lord, I know my eyes are often closed off. Often I turn away and my light has dimmed. Oh, my love, how often I falter. I know I weary my love. My flesh is so weak. And yet within me, your spirit of love, a heart that has been changed, renewed. Glory to God. Glory to God. So my love, remind me of this prayer often. Remind me to put aside all that doesn't matter. I know my days serving this early morn numbered. In spite of all my 
fleshly ways your spirit lives. My desire to reach that higher place. Oh, my love, my prayer is to reach that place, to take hold of all that you have for me, to be in a place of wisdom, to discern the lies coming at me from all sides in these darkest of days. Oh, my love. Your disciple once spoke, even the most elect can be, be deceived. And oh, my love, take me higher and higher. May I be that one that directs those to life and truth. Glory to God, to be a vessel of honor, to honor your name, my love. Glory to God, that I may serve in these most difficult of times, that you would be seen and I would not, that you would be seen and I would not. Glory to God. So my prayer, even this early morn, take me higher and higher. Glory to God. Glory to God, to bring glory to your name on high. My love, make each day matter. I know soon and very soon you come for your bride oh my love i long for that moment i long to fall prostrate before my most high god who was who is and who will always be and until that day my love take me higher and higher fill me with your presence your wisdom your discernment forgive me once again and again, until that day that my heart and soul is so willing and my flesh so weak, with each new morn, continue to show me the way forward according to your will. I only trust you. Show me how to continue to let go of this world. Uh, these words of man, this is important to someone. Show me how to continue to let go of the words of man. These words meant to hurt and bruise my soul. Oh, my love in the end. These words are only words. I have a savior who shed his blood that I might live forever. And now is the time, my love, to put away, to put all things in perspective, to move forward, to not allow their words and action to keep me from that higher place. For after all, I know the enemy's works and he longs to keep all of your people from that higher place. Glory to God. Glory to God. So Lord, my prayer, let me touch others as you touch others. Let me be quick to pray and forgive that higher place awaits as I yield myself over to you. Glory to God. Let my words matter your words, my words. Let me have more compassion for the lost. Oh, that higher place, that higher place. Glory to God. Break me, my love. I know this prayer is not without pain, but my love, I know that these days are so short and each day now matters. Each soul around me matters. Even those I touch only once. Glory to God. All these souls, creations of your hands near to your heart, just as I once was a far away soul now seeking a higher place glory to god oh how i love you my dear and precious savior no words no words from this far away soul seeking a higher place glory to god glory to god this is so beautiful second readings philippians 3 this once far away soul seeking a higher place lord lead me to a higher place let me enter a new place let me enter your realm as never before. Oh, my love, take me higher and higher. Glory to God. Let me know as never before. Break me, mold me, make me into your image. Glory to God in the highest. I know, my love, all these things are possible by your spirit, all things. And yet my flesh often holds back. Oh, my love, how I feel and fall on bended knees once again with a contrite and broken heart. Oh, my love, my flesh so strong, my heart and so willing. And often, again, my love, you know me better than myself. Oh, my love, where can I go from your spirit? Make these changes in me, my love. Take me to that higher place. I desire all of you, all of you. I lay myself down before you this early morning, knowing that pain is involved. Letting go, my love, as the flesh is so weak. And though I may weary, my love, my desire is to reach that higher place. Glory to God. Lord, I know my eyes are often closed. Often I turn away. My light is dimmed. Oh, my love, how often I falter. I know. Uh, I, I am weary, my love, my flesh so weak within me and your soul is full of love, your heart. 
uh, a heart that has been changed and renewed glory to God. So my love, remind me of this prayer often. Remind me to put aside all that doesn't matter. I know my days of serving on this earth are numbered in spite of all um, my my failing ways, your spirit lives. My desire to reach that higher place. Oh, my love, my prayers to reach that place and to take a hold of all that you have for me, to be in a place of wisdom, to discern the lies coming at me from all sides in these darkest of days. Oh, my love, your disciple once spoke, even the most elect will be deceived. And oh, my love, take me higher and higher. May I be that one that directs those to life in truth, glory to God, to be a vessel of honor, to honor your name, my love, glory to God, that I may serve in these most difficult days, that you would be seen and that I would not be. Glory to God. So my prayer this early morning, take me higher and higher. Glory to God. Glory to God. To bring glory only to your name, my most high. My love make each day matter. I know soon and very soon you come for your bride. Oh, my love, I long for that moment. I long to fall prostrate before my most high God, who was, who is, and who will always be until that day, my love, take me higher and higher. Fill me with your presence, your wisdom, your discernment. Forgive me once again and again until that day, my heart and soul willing, my flesh so weak, and yet each morn continue to show me the way forward according to your will and you only I trust. Show me how to continue to let go of this world, words of man, these words meant to hurt and bruise my soul. Oh, my love. In the end, these words are only words. I have a Savior who shed his blood that I might live forever. And now is the time, my love, to put all things in perspective, to move forward, to not allow these words and actions to keep me from the higher place. For after all, I know the enemy's works and longs to keep your people from that higher place. Glory to God. So, Lord, my prayer, let me touch another as you touch another, let me be quick to pray and to forgive. That higher place awaits as I yield myself over to you, God. Glory to God. Let my words matter. Your words, my words. Let me have more compassion for the lost. Oh, that higher place, that higher place. Glory to God. Break me, my love. I know this prayer is not without pain. But my love, I know that these days are so short. And each day now matters. Each soul around me matters matters, even those I touch perhaps only once. Glory to God, all these souls, creations of your hands, near to your heart, just as I once was a faraway soul, now seeking a higher place. Glory to God in the highest. Oh, how I love you, my dear and precious Savior. No words, no words for this once faraway soul seeking a higher place. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, Lord, touch each one today, Lord God. Send them out. Send them out full of your anointing and your fire, almighty God. Let their words matter. Let their words cut deep into other soul, that their words be your words and your words be their words. Almighty God, bless and keep each one. Fill them to overflowing and take them as they seek you to that higher and higher place until we meet you in the air soon and very soon, dear and precious Savior. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Bless you as light shine upon you. Be safe today. Don't forget we're sending money as soon as I can hook up with the person or the church that God already has chosen. God put this in my heart. We're going to help somebody from this storm. We're going to help rescue in our own little way here on this channel. Amen. Bless you. You need Bibles. You need tracts. You write to me. I'm holding all the words back for October for all of our friends in the storm uh, the states that weren't uh, involved in that storms. So you won't receive anything the 1st of October. It'll all come at the end of the month. I want to make sure you're all settled. I pray you're safe. The blood of Jesus be upon you. And may he take you higher and higher this day in Jesus' name. God bless.